this is a process, and it's going to be up and down. That's why I don't look at the polls. President Biden, who ran on bringing competency back to Washington, is facing a string of setbacks, a chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan, a migrant crisis at the border, the ongoing COVID pandemic, and now a brewing fight on Capitol Hill between progressive and moderate Democrats over his domestic agenda. The president's job approval rating is now underwater in most polls. Remember I said it's going to take me a year to deliver everything I'm looking at here. On the border, the camp in Del Rio, Texas, that was once packed with 15,000 migrants, mostly Haitians, is now gone. There are no longer any migrants in the camp. On Thursday, the U.S. Special Envoy to Haiti resigned in protest over the administration's inhumane, counterproductive decision to deport thousands of Haitian migrants back to Haiti. And Democrats expressed horror over the images of agents on horseback chasing migrants and swinging leather reins. The nation has witnessed over the last 48 hours some of the most horrific things that we've seen. This is abhorrent. It is outrageous. I'm pissed. Of course I take responsibility. I'm president. To see people treated like they did, horses really running them over, people being strapped. It's outrageous. I promise you those people will pay. The president also faces the threat of a shutdown. Republicans are refusing to help keep the government open and solvent, threatening legislative sabotage as a political tactic. The death ceiling will be raised, as it always should be, but it will be raised by the Democrats. And Mr. Biden is attempting to negotiate a political truce between progressive and centrist Democrats, at odds over the size of his domestic spending package and the timing of a vote on a bipartisan infrastructure bill. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is promising a vote this week. But progressives are threatening to withhold their support until they have reassurances on the size of the proposed $3.5 trillion domestic spending package. The reality is the bill coming up and not having the votes is not something that the speaker will be willing to do, and we don't have the votes for it. It's still a shame, it truly is a shame, that they're using that as a hostage towards this. Former Obama White House Chief of Staff John Podesta is calling on progressives to pare back their ambitions, writing, the political reality is clear. We will not secure the full $3.5 trillion investment. And Podesta is warning centrists, you are either getting both bills or neither. And the prospect of neither is unconscionable. It's politically catastrophic if we don't move forward uh, with, with these bills at this time. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.